Fight! Fight! Oh, he did it Lord of the Rings beatbox! Oh, ho, 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 ho. He's done that like a thousand times! I've heard that a million times before! He doesn't have any other material in his jukebox! What you gonna do when the New World Organization runs wild on you? What you gonna do? Do we talk about particle effects in games and how, like, they've gone way too overboard? Have we talked about that yet? I know that I've talked about that. Like, I want less particle effects in video games, not more. I'm fucking dead. Those guys, I was on the ground, I just got comboed. Alright, this is a good warm-up period. I'm just warming up. I haven't played this game in like a week. Give me a break. Wait. Oh, 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 so, there was, a, a, for some reason, a trend started happening in the last 10 years that I'm really not a fan of. And it's when particle effects take over the entire video game. I'm gonna say something here that I'm, it's gonna make a lot of people probably upset. I don't know. It might. Because I don't think I've talked about this specific instance of this. I just remember, uh, uh, personal opinion, personal opinion. This is not, I don't care. I think it's a great series. It's an incredible franchise. I love it. I've played hundreds, if not potentially thousands of hours of this franchise. I, I'm going to die if I stop talking. Then I'll talk about it after. I'm going to die. And it's going to be your, uh, no, it's not. It's my fault. Super Smash Brothers. The new iterations of the game, the last two iterations, the particle effects are so outrageous to me in my brain. Like punching and kicking and jumping, they like these huge, massive particle effects. And it's, it, I like the game, I think it's a really great game, but every time I like punch and kick somebody, it's like, you see these giant flashing clouds appear over everybody's head. It's almost like hard sometimes to see, like, okay, if I'm doing a combo, I see these like two or three giant flashes of big bright clouds of sparkles and explosions over people. I want less. And now that I said that, I'm sorry that I just, I, people that are gonna, you, if you play that game and you're a fan of it, you are now going to see what I'm talking about and I may have just fucked up your entire view of that game. I'm sorry. I think that's why I like the Soul series. You may have just come up with the reason why, even though those games are kind of hard and somewhat frustrating and annoying to me, that it is one of my favorite franchises ever. That's a really good point. Because there's no extra shit added on those games. If I punch somebody or if I slash somebody with a sword, it, the sword just hits them. A gigantic bright particle cloud of bright colors and explosions don't come out of their body. I don't like that, friend. There's blood? Yeah, but there's a difference between, like, blood coming out and, like, bright, sparkly explosions and huge smoke particle effects coming out when you touch somebody. So, are you, this is a roundabout way of you saying that there should be blood in Smash. <laughs> I'll be really honest with you, and I have to be, because if I'm not honest with you, then I can't be honest with myself, right? If if there was blood and smash besides the giant, huge, bright flash of particle effects every time you hit somebody, I would probably like the game more. <laughs> it's very easy to say that. But not... <laughs> I'm not... Listen to me. I'm not saying that I would prefer it. I'm just saying that, like, there would be less on the screen. You're a psycho. I'm not, though. I know there's people here that agree with me. What? Why are they staying alive after that? I'm... No! It's all the stupid particle effects. Are these my screen? Uh... Do the mission. I, I, this is the mission. This is the game. I have to make enough money from doing the jobs in the mission. <laughs> Come on. What else do you want blood in? I don't want blood in Smash Brothers. I just said that I prefer less stuff on the screen and like a blood like, like, splatter would be way less than like the smoke explosions. Do I still eat dairy? Um, I mean, like, a little. I don't uh, drink 
adding real milk or anything, except for like a milkshake or ice cream or cheese. If I want like milk in my coffee or milk with a brownie or something, it's usually almond milk or oat milk. Oat milk is filled with canola oil, omega low. Yeah, and apples have cyanide in it, whatever. I'll see you in 10 years when they realize. See you in 25 years when drinking coffee actually kills you. I, I, I don't care. Coffee's supposed to be good for your heart. Yeah, but whatever. I'll see you in 50 years when they realize that there's like a, a, a microorganism in coffee that is giving us all like diseases. Every, but here's the, okay, here's the real point. Everything sucks. Everything is bad for you. Just wait, there will be a what were they thinking reference for like the generations in 100 years. And like, hold on a minute, guys. What are you, what are, are you serious? They were eating the fruits off of trees? What? No, they were not. Why would they do that? They were eating, they were eating, wait, meat from a cow? What the fuck? No, they were not. I don't believe that for a second. How could they do that? <laughs> okay, how? Somebody just said, dude, Jeremy, you are on hard drugs. No, you are right now seeing the reason why I was always afraid of ever doing a hard drug. Ever. I am completely drug free. With the exception of Tylenol, caffeine, and, you know, a little bit of marijuana. If, you know, if I'm feeling okay. This is actually starting to freak me out a little. Is he smoking? These are bong rips. Who's doing that? Oh, the slowed down music. This is like the, a high scene. But the younger gamers don't like waiting for shit. And that five minutes probably caused a lot of them to scrap this game. Really? Yeah, that's a good point. Hey. Young gamers, I'm terribly sorry. Young gamers. Fight, summon, charge. Super. Okay, fight. System window? Wait, I can attack. Wait, come. Wait, what? What the fuck is this? Taking <laughs> damage. We're gonna push it to the limit. Oh, limit. So this is the power of light. Let's go. He's on, I'm dead. There it is again. Go. Mustang mode. Oh my god, it's unfair. It's so unfair to get this in a boss. This is so unfair. That's a whole phase gone. Fine, you're an interesting guy. Uh oh. You fucking dick prince! You will be stripped of the number one position. Do you still <laughs> what want to the fight? What is going on I'll with hold her? Hold on to this bloodlust till the actual fight. You just wait. She prince keeps being dickhead. upgraded every time we see her. <laughs> oh, Smash Brothers! Like, that's not what I was talking about, by the way. And that's what people thought I was. Oh, I fucking fell in. What did you fall in? What did you fall in? Uh, hey, who's in the, hello, who's in the bathroom? Uh, I'm in here. Uh, you've been in there for a while. What'd you fall in? Ha! Huh. What's this chant? Monka W. Start the game. Monka W is not a chant, it's a face. I'm sorry. Monka W is not like. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. It's everybody collectively in the stadium all going like <sighs> Oh wait, if it was Monka W it'd be the, Imagine it was like, oh look all the stadiums are uh, the stadiums doing Monka W right now Verbally chanting Monka W but Why would you chant Monka W? Monka W Monka W Monka W, Monka W, it'd just be like, what the fuck are these people doing? You still watch wrestling? I do not. I used to like wrestling because wrestling to me was like a cartoon. It was superheroes fighting each other and just wild, outrageous shit going on. It was never supposed to be and real to me. It was always uh, like almost theater in a way. WWE is still hitting record profits. I mean, I I didn't say that you should not watch wrestling and it's not popular and everybody hates it. I just said the reason why I used to watch wrestling was not because of the fact that they were wrestling. It was like Ken Shamrock being locked in a cage and him incredible hulking bending the bars like Superman. It was Mick Foley being three different people. 
Even though you knew he was just one guy. Oh, there, here comes Cactus Jack! A dude love! They were, they were two different people, but it was literally just him being three or four different characters. Not enough costumes. Yeah, I... I, it was fun to have these superheroes fight each other. Just Get think about ready. it, the inherent... Inherently doing like a special move to somebody doesn't do anything, right? Like, oh my god, his finisher! The tombstone pile driver! What's the difference? It's literally you're dropping the guy on the same mat. But we, they, they were supposed to be like superpowers. Oh no, he's doing his finishing superpower! Now, when you take that like kind of weird costumey theater out of it, I don't care if you have a superpower, you're just a guy with a speedo on. Like, y y that superpower does not hold the same weight for me. It's like, oh no, here he comes! Here comes Jeff Anderson with his superpower! Taking you to the bank! Like, I don't- you, you're just a guy. I don't care. The Undertaker could have a superpower because he was the Undertaker. The guy literally would like raise from the dead in the middle of the ring. And there was a- there was a fat guy on the outside who was a showman that had an urn. That pretended that he was like had power from whoever was in that urn. He was like a dead guy. And you knew it wasn't real, but you didn't care because it was a fucking show. It was like theater. I remember people like throwing fucking drinks into the ring. When Hulk Hogan went heel, and people were literally throwing fucking objects into the ring, like sodas and drinks and trash and shit. It was insane. He, he, like never before Hulk Hogan became a bad guy. And everyone was like, people were like crying in the stands. It was crazy. All right, here we go. This is when you get it. Speed death row. Oh. No! This is where you get it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, give me some. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting healed. What? He was stunned. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? I got out of the way. It I had half health. You gotta be kidding me. Why is this guy so much? This is the hardest th thing in the whole game. Oh! <laughs> that, was like a, that was like a Rick yell. Oh! Up. No, I don't. Where is my fucking heal? There it is, finally. <laughs> 40. There's no risk involved. No effort required. Most importantly, there is no hassle. You could say that all it requires is anger and hatred. Can you do the Joker? Yeah. Awesome. It's not Trump. Trump and Stewie are in the same... Okay. Trump and Stewie sit in the same, like, Venn diagram of voices. This is Donald. You know, it could be. This is Stewie Griffin and Donald. Uh, they, they're, in the, they're, they're in the same section. The guy who spent a hundred dollars on the Family Guy mobile game. Yeah, I, I, I am not going to tell you that I did not spend at least fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars on Family Guy: The Quest for stuff. Like six years ago, I did. Could have been any other show or material. It didn't matter. The Family Guy didn't matter. It was the act of the dopamine from playing the game is what did it to me. Why? I don't know. I just did. A hundred dollars in a mobile game is not a whale. Five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. No, it was up. It was like sixty bucks. Are you a whale for buying like Gears of War three for sixty dollars? You bought you bought the Mario Party game last year for fifty bucks. Are you a whale? Whale cope. No, it's not whale cope. A whale is like at least five to ten grand in a game. It's not like sixty bucks. Look, I I saw so sixty dollars. I'm not even looking at the game. It's a free dress up game, you idiot. But a whale constitutes that, like, I am one of the sole reasons for the game's continued development, right? Like, I am the one of the sole reasons for that game's financial... When they do their quarterly results. Like, no. I didn't... No. 50 bucks is not a whale. You can't convince me otherwise. You're a whale. I'm not a whale. A wh okay, if I had spent, like, a thousand bucks... First of all, I would never have even told you guys that. If I spent like five grand in a free-to-play mobile game, no one is going to know that. Besides my credit card company. You know, why would I ever tell you that? Yeah, how much money have you guys spent on Hearthstone? Some of you that have played it, that were playing years ago too. How much money have you spent on Hearthstone? If I'm allowed to spend fifty dollars, if I'm no, if I'm not allowed to spend fifty bucks in Family Guy the Quest for Stuff, you're not allowed to spend four thousand in Hearthstone. 
watch Chris Angel Mind Freak on stream. Something funny about Chris Angel Mind Freak, somebody that lives in Vegas. When I first got here, like, oh, what, what should I do? Should I watch a show? I wonder, is there something I should do on the strip? Chris Angel's Mind Freak live show, I believe at the time, had like a 1.2 out of 5. It apparently was one of the worst shows in Vegas. I remember reading reviews and being like, holy shit, people said this, this show is like the fucking worst thing they've ever done. And speaking of magicians, you, if you guys, you, uh, I remember watching this guy, his name was James Randy. He did this like, he did this talk at some either school or convention or something where he's, he's up like talking at the microphone and he's, he's coming through the speakers to the auditorium and he's like, he's talking about like, you know, let me tell you something. Um, if you guys, you guys want to tell me that you don't assume things. And he's like, oh yeah, I don't assume anything. And he's like, you already have assumed something. People are like, yeah, I, I, I usually I base my life on facts only. And he's like, oh yeah? This is not even a real microphone. This, he's been literally talking at a microphone the whole time. Like on stage. And he's like, you assume that this was a working microphone. And he literally just like puts it down. And he's just still talking and still coming through the speakers. He had like a lapel mic on. And he was wearing frames. He, he had like glasses on, but he was literally just wearing frames. And he's like, you assume that I need glasses. <laughs> don't have these on. And he just pulls, pulls them off and everyone like gasps in the audience. And then the person that's like sitting there going like, I don't assume anything is just like, oh, fuck. Oh, she got me. The amazing Randy got me. What's your opinion on pulp and orange juice? Remove it immediately. Because guess what? I can't tell the difference between pulp and bugs. And I don't want to have a bug land in my drink one day and not know because there's pulp in it. Nope. Sorry. I need to be able to have complete examination skills to see that there's no bugs in my food or my drink. Like figs, I do. Now, oh, and this is the part where you, this is the part of the conversation where you tell me you like figs. Well, yeah, there's bugs in it, there's bees in it, there's wasps in it. This is the part where I say I don't care because I know that there's bugs in it. I know that there are bugs in my food when I eat figs. I don't expect there to be bugs in my food when I eat, drink orange juice. So if there are bugs in my orange juice, it's a huge problem, and I'm dead because of because of you. I want that person timed up for at least 13 to 14 seconds. So you'll eat a fistful of worms because you know you're going to eat them. Um, if my plan was to eat worms that day, then I would eat the worms because I was going to, okay, look, here's a handful of worms, eat them. If I make a, like a tuna casserole, I don't want, to, don't want there to be worms in the tuna casserole. Because I'm not expecting that and I don't want that. If I wanted to eat bugs, I would eat a bug. This concept apparently is incredibly difficult to understand. What's my favorite color? Um, that guy, uh, aqua. Teal. Teal is my favorite color. A mercenary. A red mercenary. Right, we're just a couple of mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just said, oh, here we go. Time to play Name That Reference. Oh, God, we're just going. Oh, my God. Okay. I got so much power. Look at this damage. I can't dodge. I can't even move. I can't do anything. Ooh. All right, he's in phase three. I gotta be careful. This on hard would probably be so bad. Oh god. What? <laughs> Shit! I have no heals. Oh fuck this camera. No, ah! ah! drop this. Punch me! Punch me! Punch me! Oh fuck! He hit me right with his nails! Shit! Oh! 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 Unlock all weapons and fight! Here we go, Gene! Here we go! Was this whole game a shit post? I, probably, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was a big watchable cartoon toy that I could watch and play. Which is just a video game. So, I just described what a video game was. Is, okay.